Making ends meet during a pandemic. Many businesses have found some creative ways to keep their customers going in the middle of all of this. Some breweries and distilleries switching over their operations to make hand sanitizer to help the community. Blue Clover, Clover Distillery in Scottsdale is keeping its kitchen closed, at least for now. And Rebound Arizona reporter Sonu Wasu tells us why. The distillery that once churned out thousands of gallons of locally made spirits is now working full time, churning out thousands of gallons of hand sanitizer. I know we're probably close to 2,500 gallons, somewhere in there. When his kitchen and bar closed, Weston Holm, owner of Blue Clover Distillery in Old Town Scottsdale, said he had to think outside the box to keep the cash coming in. It's right in line with the WHO, the World Health Organization. It's at 80% ethanol. Most hand sanitizers that you find at a CVS or Walgreens is like 63%. Has hand sanitizer been your bread and butter for the last three months? I mean, it's been the only thing that's really kept us alive. Uh, if we didn't have the option and the equipment and the tools and the skills to make hand sanitizer, we probably would have been looking at uh, um, saying goodbye to my life savings and uh, some other business partners. While hand sanitizer sales have been brisk, it's still only putting a Band-Aid on the bills. But Holm has decided now with businesses around him reopening, there's going to be a big need for hand sanitizer. We're doing five-gallon buckets for people looking for bulk for businesses. The business that's known for their gin and flavored vodkas is still selling bottles to customers who want to pick some up. But Holm says his focus right now is in helping other businesses reopen open because he says it's the right thing to do. If we were to go belly up, we're still good Samaritans. The Blue Clover Distillery plans to reopen their bar and restaurant in mid-June. Reporting from Old Town Scottsdale, Sonu Basu, ABC 15, Arizona.